Hello guys, Miki Jibi here. This video will be a guide of the new mechanic that Bandai had released in 24th March. This new mechanic is called the Equipment Refinement, which is to celebrate the worldwide third anniversary. And I will try my best to cover everything that I know and what you should know about the new mechanic. Before I start the guide, I want to say this in advance that I will put this timestamp on what topic I will talk about so you have easier to follow and if you are interested in other parts you can skip to them and if I miss other information or if I forgot to add something else please let me know in the comments and I will try my best to add it later on let's begin equipment refinement is the latest mechanic that they have released into the game this mechanic is to build your own acquired equipment that helps you through the floors and battles. So it's almost like the mod mechanic but more towards your weapon and armor. It lets you add special effects into your forge equipment by using ingots, which is the new item in this game. The effect can be from increasing slash elemental damage to increase fire element damage, etc. And there are so many effects that you can use in your forge weapon and armor. I will talk about two new items that are added to the game, which you need them to be able to use the equipment refinement. The first item is called the hot ore and it is a necessary item to forge with. Hot ore can be dropped from the ragged rabbit, a new rare mob that sometimes appear on the floor, which you can find on any floor from floor 1 to 2 to the highest floor currently is 48. So yeah. And there are three types of rabbit you can find on the floor and each of them will drop their own ore. The first one, a rag out rabbit will drop red hot ore. The second one, sheer rabbit will drop scorching hot ore. And the third and last, broad rabbit and it will drop an intensely hot ore. With this ore you can use to unlock slots on your weapon and armor to be able to put ingots or more ingots in them. Just like you unlock mod slots for your mod skills. I will talk more about the ore and slots later on on this video. The best way to find the rabbits is to make a party of 6 players and each, if each of you cover the each spot zone and defeat all the mobs on the floor as fast as possible. And with this method you can have high chance to make the rabbit to spawn and when you see it make sure you defeat it before it runs away or despawn. You can notice by looking at the minimap if you see a red dot that moves faster than other uh, red dots that means it's a rabbit. And something funny you can do is also you can steal from others if you camp on the floor and wait till the rabbit spawn. But in my opinion you just don't do it because you will regret it later on. Party with other players and you will all share the same drop which is nice. And something interesting about the rabbit, it can also drop a rabbit meat. And there are also are three types of meat of that you can get. Unfortunately, I don't know the full name of the item meat, but here is an image of the three items meat that you can get from the rabbit. And they kinda are really low to get. The second new item is the metal scrap, an item that can produce ingots which you need for refining. These metal scraps can be dropped from any mobs in the floor and can also be dropped from the dungeon mobs. There are three types of metal scraps. Common metal scraps, superior metal scraps and rare metal scraps. Common metal scraps can be found on floor 1 to 14, either floor or dungeon. Superior metal scraps can be found from floor 20 and to the current highest floor, floor 48, either for mobs or dungeon mobs. You can also craft the superior metal scraps by using 100 common metal scraps which will turn into one superior metal scrap. And the rare metal scrap can be crafted if you use 100 superior metal scraps which will give you one rare metal scrap. You produce ingots by using fire of the metal scrap. You can use between the common, the superior or the rare metal scrap to produce one ingot. If you use the common metal scrap, you can produce a common ingot or a superior ingot. If you use the superior metal scrap, you can produce a common, a superior or a rare ingot. If you use the rare metal scrap, you can produce a superior or a rare ingot. I will recommend using the superior metal scrap since they, are, they can produce all the three ingots and also are the one you will get the most of when you farm on the higher floor. 
When you produce an ingot, it will come with a various of effects which are random and each effect has its own advantage and disadvantage. Then there are some special ingots that you can get only by defeating the dungeon bosses and get their own metal scrap. You need 10 of them to be able to craft one ingot. Each of these ingots has their own effect, example floor 47. That one can give you plus 2 weapon XP for your one hand club or floor 4 that can give you more healing from plants. Here's a list of the dungeon bosses and where you can find them. In my opinion, you don't really need to focus on these ingots because those are mostly for the late gamers that are far into the game. Um, you that are still a beginner, mid gamers, you guys should focus on the other stuff like getting Lux, Lux weapon, unlock the highest case armor, or unlock all, all and max all the weapon prophecy skills. And if you don't really like to grind for the ingots, there are also an option to buy with account gems. A multi cost 2000 account gems, and you can get all the ingots that are currently available except for common ingots. And extra, you can also get the three types of ore, which is really nice. And there are also some 4 star ingots that are really strong, and those 4 star can only be obtained from the gacha shop. You can composition the ingot as long as the ingots are the same, and by the same I mean they have the matching description, rarity and percentage. Compose the ingots will make the ingots stronger, and the common ingots, they can be composed up to 99, superior to 299, rare to 499, dungeon boss up to 99, and 4 star ingot also up to 99. You can also dissemble the ingots and when you do it the ingot will turn into back into two metal scraps. So if you dissemble common ingot you will get two common metal scrap, super ingot into two metal scrap, rare ingot into two rare metal scrap. And if you also dissemble the four star ingot and the dungeon boss ingot, they will also in turn into two rare metal scrap. You might have noticed that floor weapon and gear has 3 slots while the integral series and dark black series has only 1. Let me explain that. Floor weapon and gear weapon have 3 slots because they are ready to be unlocked and they can only require to have the red hot ore. Unlocking the first slot you will need 1 hot ore, the second slot will need 2 and the first slot you will need 3 ores. When it comes to integral series and dark black series, you can only unlock the first slot, which requires 3 red hot ore. And to unlock the first slot, you have to go visit Elizabeth, the shop in the floor 48 and talk with her. And if you didn't know, you can actually unlock the second slot and the first slot, if you get the items. Like I mentioned before uh, about the ragout rabbit, there are 3 types of rabbit and each of them drops different ores. And to unlock the second slot uh, for the series, you will need two scorching ore, and for the first slot, you will need one intensely ore. I have hunt for this rabbit, but all the rabbits I found so far has only been the regular rabbit, the ragout rabbit. So it's kind of lucky that I can show you to when I unlock the slots. But yeah, I just have to keep farming, I guess. So when you have unlocked the slot, you can now refine the equipment with the ingots you want to use. When you refine, your equipment status will also increase, your weapon will re receive an increased like, attack, and the armor will receive increased defense, which is a really nice bonus. And some extra information you might need to want to know. The shields cannot be forged or refined, which you have probably noticed. Equipment refinement with ingots cannot be discarded, sold, or used in succession. Ingots with invalid with partner in the item description will not have the effect on the partner when refined into equipment. The effect of the match ingot cannot be stacked, but matching effect of the different ingots can be stacked together. And that is everything I know about the new mechanic and hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any question that you did like to ask, feel free to comment on this video and I'll try my best to give you the best answer. And 
that is for me today and hopefully you guys enjoyed the guide and if you do please leave a like and it will motivate me to do more new guides for you if you ever get lost and yeah that is for me today and i'm heading out see you on the next video and take care bye bye